What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We're going to be talking about a few different horror topics in this video here today. We'll be talking about a small tidbit that has to do with Scream 7 in some capacity since it's regarding Melissa Barrera. We'll be talking about the Harry Potter TV show. We'll be talking about Terrifier 3 and then we'll round it out with Jurassic Park. So Melissa Barrera was fired from Scream 7 as we know and since then a few people online have been trying to create this false division amongst the core four stars whether it be because of essays being posted or their lack of statements on Melissa's fire. Here's what Melissa said though about her co-stars recently. She said, we're family for life. If we're ever in the vicinity of each other, we always find each other and that's what happened at that event. When we find each other, we just want to spend the night with each other and nothing is ever going to change that. Did you catch that last part about nothing ever going to change that? Now see, I've stated a few times in previous Scream 7 videos dedicated to talking about this whole situation with Melissa that she seems like a very reasonable person. She doesn't seem like someone who is overly irrational the way a lot of people online seem to be with the situation. So while some got mad at Mason recently over an essay, she likely wasn't upset at all and understands the context and his reasoning. And this is again just me making assumptions based off of their obvious evident close bond that was made evident in that photo and her own statement she's making now. So she likely wasn't upset at all by that. And she knows these people way better than us or anyone that has these parasocial relationships with complete strangers. So I was glad to hear her make this statement. And that's why I kind of just always stand back and watch as some of this irrational behavior unfolds, because statements like this just make some people look very foolish, trying to create division where there is none. And there's, again, valid reasons for their silence. Melissa Barrera is someone who is in the know. She's in the industry and her co-stars are in the know and they're in the industry. They have a lot more knowledge on the situation than any of us. The silence is something that she understands why they're being silent about. There's no doubt about that. So jumping into Harry Potter, the Warner Brothers TV group member Channing Dungy or Dungy, however you pronounce that, said this to Variety today about the upcoming show. We're in conversations with a number of different writers to figure out who's going to be the person to lead the franchise for us. Who noted that who Dungy said, who noted that any rumors that casting is already underway are inaccurate. The first step for us is figuring out who this showrunner is going to be. And once we get that locked down, then we're going to start having those casting conversations. The tricky part is the first two books where the kids are on the younger end, around 11 or 12. Well, that's true. And it's good to know that the casting is important to them and that they are correct in that comment. Because with a 10 year plan, the way we've heard about that, it's supposed to be a more faithful adaptation of these books. Do you plan to keep the same kids that you cast for covering the first two books, The Chamber of Secrets and The Sorcerer's Stone, and let it progress with them? Or do you use a pair of young trio actors once and then change them for the Azkaban story onward through the Deathly Hallows story? So the fact that she made that comment saying that that's the tricky part makes me curious. Are we gonna see at least two sets of trio members or a few different sets? I guess we'll just find out as we get deeper into this ongoing progress of the Harry Potter TV show, which again, J.K. Rowling is again reportedly going to have creative decision making involvement. So diving into Terrifier 3, Terrifier 3 is expected to film later this month. And we already know the plot has Sienna and Jonathan living with their uncle Greg and their aunt Jessica and their little cousin. Sienna is rumored to have another episode of sorts while living there that sparks her uncle Greg to be concerned about Sienna living with them and how she could harm their daughter. And Sienna is also journaling a nightmare she keeps having about being chained in a dark abyss and gets mad when her cousin finds this journal. Now, we also know that Jonathan is expected to go to college in this story, and now we might have a new character at this college setting with an interesting speech he gives at one point. Terrifier 3 is rumored to be introducing a college professor named Professor Kevin Orton. Don't know if he's related to Randy or not. Just a joke. <laughs> so he has a moment when lecturing his class where he goes over Christmas's connection to dark activities like demonic possessions and exorcisms. Terrifier 3, again, all allegedly, not confirmed, will seemingly have something to do with the winter solstice and this belief that boundaries between the spirit world and our world are thin and make it easy for malevolent entities to cross over. So I'm speculating, is this another piece to Art's backstory? Is Art a malevolent entity that simply just passed over into our world during a past winter solstice and that's going to be a part of 
what we find out during Terrifier 3. What connection in complete context the Winter Solstice will have or how it relates to the story of Terrifier 3, I do not know. I just know that it comes from this newcomer, Kevin Orton, who is a college professor. And those are all the rumored details I have as it pertains to the story of Terrifier 3, which is again expected to begin filming later this month, I think out in New York. So the last thing we're going to talk about here is Jurassic World 4 or Jurassic Park. Well, no, 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 no. I'll say Jurassic World 4. Jurassic World 4 is coming. So this is from The Hollywood Reporter, who says the studio is deep into the development of an all new Jurassic World movie and has David Cope back at the keyboard. Cope was the writer of the original 93 Jurassic Park, famously directed by Steven Spielberg and its sequel 1997's The Lost World Jurassic Park. The project, which has been flying under the radar, is far far enough long and the script is in well like shape that the studio is whispering of a possible 2025 release date it is unclear what form the relaunch is taking it is known to be launching a new jurassic era per sources with an all-new storyline that would seem to rule out the return of characters played by jurassic world stars chris pratt and bryce dallas howard and it seems characters featured in the original jurassic park movies played by sam neill laura dern and jeff goldblum will not be involved look Say what you want about Culp's last Indiana Jones film and what people think about the female character. That screenplay is far better than Dominion. And this man is still responsible for several classics like the original Jurassic Park. I think he also wrote the screenplay for Sam Raimi's Spider-Man. This man has been responsible for countless classics that I love. War of the Worlds, even I think he was responsible for that film too. All I can say is just focus more on the horror element and explore what Fallen Kingdom teased, a horrific scenario where humans coexist with dinosaurs and not mutant bugs like Dominion did. I don't know why that was even considered as the main plot and allowed to go through with an approval. This movie should be able to just take advantage of what Fallen Kingdom teased, tell a horrific narrative where humans and dinosaurs are coexisting and just give us a horrific scenario maybe you have raptors taking over a city and it can be a small contained story set within the same world and just again lean into those horror roots that's all we need just a horror film where humans and dinosaurs are coexisting let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications you can never miss a video in the description i'll have links to all of my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video